Volusia County Sheriff's deputies say Peterson engaged in a sexual relationship with a 14-year-old former student of hers. This has become almost epidemic. About 100 cases of female teacher to male student. Inappropriate relationships. He said Peterson would send him nude pictures of herself. She would also pick him up from his house late at night. This is episode seven of a series I've been producing on the subject of teachers caught having sex with students. Click on the card in the upper right hand corner to see the playlist. A number of the stories like these that I've covered happened in the state of Florida. Florida is among the states with the highest rates of these heinous crimes. According to a report by the Associated Press, Florida had the highest number of cases of female teachers engaging in sexual misconduct with students between 2014 and 2017, with 121 cases reported during that period. The following narrative is that of the sexual misbehavior of a woman named Stephanie Peterson, yet another Florida teacher who disgraced herself, disrupted the life of one family, and ruined her own over lust for a teenage boy. In October of 2010, Stephanie Peterson was first hired as a substitute teacher by the Volusia County School District. In August of 2013, she began teaching reading at Creekside Middle School in the city of Port Orange. A little over two years later, on December 5th of 2015, she married a man named Brandon Ferry, who was a firefighter and an EMT in the city of New Smyrna Beach. The following year, she became a seventh grade science teacher at New Smyrna Beach Middle School in August of 2016. New Smyrna Beach is a city of about 30,000 people on the central Atlantic coast of Florida, about 250 miles north of Miami. During the 2017-2018 school year, her second year of teaching, a 14-year-old boy who I refer to as Sam, became her teacher's aide. He had been a student of hers the previous year. Sam would go to her classroom and they'd talk. The 26-year-old teacher and teenage student would sometimes discuss the difficulties she was having in her marriage. One day early on in that school year, Stephanie let Sam use her smartphone to check his Instagram account as the boy did not have his mobile device. When he returned the phone, Stephanie found that the boy did not log out of his Instagram. The teacher sent the boy a message later that night. Soon the two were corresponding via the social media app Snapchat, apparently in an effort to conceal their communications as the platform does not automatically save messages. They began sending one another images of their private parts. Soon after, in November of 2017, the teacher took the boy's virginity, and over the course of the next few months, the two would have multiple sexual encounters. Stephanie began picking the boy up from his home late at night. Sam would sneak out of the house around 11 p.m., and she'd drive him to the home she shared with her husband while the man was away at work. After having sexual relations, Stephanie would drop the boy off at home around 1 or 2 a.m. When the illicit relationship came to light a few months later, the boy told police that at first, Stephanie would park her car in the driveway and the two would copulate in the car. As they continued covertly seeing one another, the woman would invite the teen inside her home. There, she would perform oral sex on the minor, on her couch, he said. He told the cops that Stephanie visited him at his home on a couple of occasions, during which the teacher filleted the youngster in the barn behind the house. According to Sam, the teacher told him that they had to use condoms, and that on a couple of occasions, Stephanie wanted sex, but they did not engage, as they didn't have protection. During the course of the brief relationship, the teacher provided the boy with marijuana and sent him nude photos via Snapchat and Instagram. Stephanie told Sam that they had to keep their interactions a secret, but the teen apparently began at some point to feel uneasy about what was going on. He told the cops that he had been making all A's, B's, and a few C's before he started seeing Peterson, but that plummeted to multiple F's when he started skipping class to hang out with the tempting teacher. In February of 2018, Stephanie filed for divorce from her husband after a little over two years of marriage. At that point, she had been sexually engaged with her underage lover for a few months, when one day, a different teacher called Sam's mother and offered to tutor the boy. The mother thought that this was a bit strange and asked Sam, in jest, if the helpful teacher wanted to molest him. Sam suddenly burst into tears, saying to his mother that, quote, anyone could molest you, unquote. Mom was alarmed, of course, and immediately thought of Stephanie Peterson, aware that her son frequently visited the teacher's classroom. The boy quickly admitted to mom that he had been having sex with Peterson. 
the shocking story is the talk of the nation. When the boy told his parents about it anyway, they confronted Peterson. Stephanie panicked when she found out that the cat was out of the bag. She and Sam discussed the situation via text. She asked Sam if his mother was planning on doing something with this new information. She told the teenager that she hated him so much. Please tell her that it was the worst decision of my life, and I know it was, and I don't know where my brain was, but that I somehow fell in love with you briefly, and I don't know why, and I'll never be the same person because of it. Stephanie asked Sam if he thought she should call his mother and told him that he needed to, quote, delete everything. Stephanie Peterson resigned from her job on February 26 of 2018. Police interviewed Sam the following day. On February 28th, Stephanie was arrested and her bail was set at $25,000. Her attorneys motioned to have her bail reduced. On March 1st, she was released from jail on $12,500 bond. Investigators interviewed two other boys regarding possible improper interactions with the teacher. One of the students said nothing inappropriate occurred between he and Peterson. The other student, a 13-year-old boy from the nearby city of Ormond Beach, said there was no physical contact between him and the teacher, but Peterson had sent him nude photos via Snapchat. Investigators were unable to retrieve the racy images the woman supposedly sent to the kid. However, investigators were able to retrieve some text conversations between Stephanie and the boy. I shouldn't have said anything last night. I'm sorry, Peterson said in one text. It's fine, Mrs. P., the kid responded. He asked the teacher why she was apologizing. Stephanie responded, because I shouldn't have said anything. A few texts later, the 13-year-old says he won't tell anyone. He didn't say exactly what he was referring to. I haven't and I'm not gonna tell anybody, the teen says. Stephanie responds, I'm not upset. I just don't want to hurt you or do anything to get us in trouble. Stephanie faced no charges related to her interactions with the other boys. In October of 2018, about eight months after her arrest, Stephanie admitted her involvement with Sam and pleaded guilty to second-degree lewd or lascivious battery on a child and transmission of harmful material to minors by electronic means. She faced a possible sentence of 20 years if convicted of the crimes of which she'd been accused, but after her plea bargain, her potential punishment was only five to 10 years. During the court proceedings, the defense argued that its client should receive a lighter sentence for having sex with a young student because she has bipolar disorder and because her victim was a willing participant. She was sentenced in December. At the sentencing hearing, in arguing for leniency, the defense told the court that Stephanie's mental health issues put her in a manic state that made her hypersexual and prevented her from fully realizing and appreciating the consequences of her actions. The prosecution argued that she knew very well that what she was doing was wrong. It said that Peterson chose to use cocaine, marijuana, and alcohol at the time of the encounters, and that too could have made her hypersexual. The prosecution recommended that Peterson be jailed for between six and 10 years, and that she register as a sex offender. Peterson spoke at the hearing and said, Every day of my life, I wake up and ask myself, what have you done? Every day I pray I will be forgiven. Every day I fight with the remorse and shame I feel inside. Every day I wish I could scream, I'm sorry. The amount of remorse I feel for what has happened has ne will never be explained well enough through words. There isn't a day that goes by that I don't wish I could change what happened, that it didn't affect someone's future the way I did. Teaching was the most meaningful thing in my life, and it was all I ever wanted to do growing up. Knowing I was in a position of power and misused that power to negatively influence one's life is a morbid thought I have to think about all day, every day. The mother of Stephanie's victim spoke to the court during the hearing and said that her son had become withdrawn since the traumatic encounters took place. As a mother watching your child go through such pain and loneliness and shamefulness is indescribable. He will struggle with this pain the rest of his life. Stephanie Peterson took advantage of a 13-year-old child. She said that her son had become largely unrecognizable. He is no longer the funny, vibrant, light-hearted child we knew. He is now untrustworthy of new people and even old friends. He's angry most days. He doesn't understand his new personality, but can't find his old self either. She said the teen has since struggled to make friends and is often teased in school due to the assaults, with one student calling him a teacher fucker and another asking him how his teacher tasted. And it's absolutely heartbreaking, the teen's mother said of the ongoing abuse. What she did to him has completely changed his life. 
His innocence was stolen at 14 years old. On Wednesday, December 19th of 2018, Stephanie Peterson was sentenced to three years in state prison, three years of house arrest, and five years of probation. She was also ordered to register as a sex offender. The disgraced teacher was released from prison in December of 2021. She will remain in the sex offender registry for the rest of her life. Thanks once again for tuning in. Thanks for liking, commenting, subscribing. Thanks for helping to grow this channel. Special thanks to all of you that are still here watching the video at the end. Special thanks to all of my new subscribers. Thanks to all of my longtime loyal subscribers. You know who you are. I appreciate the hell out of all you guys. If you haven't subscribed already, please go ahead and do so. I'm trying to make it to 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year. I think we should easily make it there, but you can help us to make it by clicking that subscribe button. So go ahead and do so if you haven't already. I've got some interesting stories coming up for you guys. I'll be dropping those shortly. Once again, thanks for tuning in. Peace.